This picture of a pressure cooker leads us to wonder what's the effect of increasing the pressure on the rate of a chemical reaction. At foundation level we need to know not only the effect of changing the pressure but also be able to explain this in terms of what's called the reacting particle model or the collision theory. In C2 we learnt about the preparation of the gas ammonia and we learned that it was produced by reacting two other gases together, nitrogen and hydrogen, which are mixed together in the correct proportions and then put into a reaction vessel at 450 degrees, 200 atmospheres of pressure and an iron catalyst. At this stage we learnt that the 200 atmospheres of pressure was important in order to increase the yield or the percentage of ammonia in the mixture. But there's also another reason why a high pressure is a good idea in this reaction, because the high pressure increases the rate of the reaction. And how does it do this? Well, the particles of hydrogen and nitrogen need to be able to collide in order to react. And if we increase the pressure, this is like increasing the concentration of a solution. It forces the particles much closer together. And if the particles are closer together, then the frequency of collisions is going to be greater and therefore the rate of reaction is going to be faster. We can think of this as being a bit like a piston. If we had particles of hydrogen and of nitrogen all in one vessel, but then we close down the plunger of the vessel, this would force those particles much closer together and that would lead to more frequent collisions between them, which would lead to an increase in the rate of reaction. So generally speaking, in reactions involving gases colliding together, increasing the pressure will increase the rate of reaction.